Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is uh, Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on those DM. You know? I am, dude. Man 21, boys. Yes, dude, we doing it. We are doing the dudes. So, I don't know if you heard about this yet, and by the time this comes out, it'll be a little dated, but not bad. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about... Because actually, I brought it up in the last video we recorded, and then I, we totally got tangent, tangented, and I didn't get... Kanye, Kim Kardashian, did you hear about her 40th birthday party? No. Did you bring this up on the last well, video? Well, you said Kanye, and then I said, speaking of Kanye, and then you said something else, and it made my mind completely okay. go a different direction. All right, then we enough. started talking about something else. So, I guess uh, she posted on social media... Okay. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out the way to, the, the way to like go through it. No, I like this. I, I like gossip, Jonas. I guess, Let's uh, go. Let's. I guess so. Dish. Ultimately, what she did Spill the was tea. she wanted to she wanted mm -hmm. it to make it feel like it was normal for all of her friends and family. Mm -hmm. So she flew them all to a private island to have a party. Uh -huh. For her 40th birthday. But it was a humble little party. Because no, no, you don't fly so, out anybody so to a humble all these, little but party. She put these no, like, it was like four or five tweets in a row about how she just wanted to experience a little bit of normalcy with her friends. and By and, flying uh, them to a pub. And, uh, right and that like, she was like, and everybody, and everybody was told to quarantine beforehand and it was a surprise. And whatever. So basically the internet attacked her and was like, A... I'm glad that the one woman oh, oh, your $1,200 enlist from, from April to take everyone to a private island. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, and then, and then no one had on masks because they were supposed to quarantine or whatever. Yet they, they had a picture. She posted one of the people who was there serving them because they had servants. They didn't just do it themselves. He had to wear a mask. So they didn't. So they were like, oh, normal for everyone except the staff. <laughs> like, and then, and then she was like, yeah, everybody quarantined, whatever. And then someone re somebody tweeted to her with a picture of an article that said, da, 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 Kim Kardashian's party. Kanye West was not able to make the party because he had to work, but he surprised them and showed up for the last two days. And they were like, oh, I'm sure he was quarantining the entire time he was working oh before he God. came the last two days to your island party. <laughs> and like just all this ish. Like, just like, just want to taste the normalcy. So we fly to a private island and have a catered dinner with... Now, you know, Jonas... That's how out of touch people are, dude. You know, Jonas, like, I hear that secretly a lot of, like, of these celebrities are, you know, kind of on board with the way that things are going right now. All right? In regards to what? In regards to the fact of the tax breaks that they have received... Due to the way things are going right now, they get tax breaks because of COVID. No, <laughs> not that thing. The other thing. Oh, oh, the uh, oh, the uh. Why would yeah? Why oh, would this COVID... is actually coming out on election day. This is a good. It's a good way. Does to this talk... come out on election? Yeah, because it's coming out Tuesday of next week. Fair so, enough. Yeah, which is but election a, day. It, it turns out that a lot of celebrities and a lot of these rich people, like recently, it just came out like uh. Like, people are, you know, trying to have talks with the way things are going right now. And people right, right, are coming right. out saying, hey, I F with the way that things are going right now. And I'm not saying, you know, that's wrong or right because, you know, you vote on your interests. Right, right. But it's due to the fact of, like, so, like, the celebrities that, that come out and say, you know, like, look. I understand that I have millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, but I'm still willing to sacrifice a little bit more. In order to try to help people out, I don't know. Right, right. I, I don't know. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, well, yeah. And then, uh, well, I think that's kind of a, one of the biggest problems is like the people. It's if if the world, if certain circumstances in the world benefit you. Yeah. For whatever reason, whether it's monetarily, whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. Does it matter? Why if it... would you want to change that? Be unless, if it, well, unless, obviously, if you if you have the best interest of the entire world and the community at, yeah, at heart, you're like, oh, that's not fair. Let's change it. But if you're a rich person who all of this stuff is benefiting you to keep more money, yep. and you don't care about everyone else, why would you 
ever want those breaks to go away. And who cares about anyone else? Well, right. Well, and that's what, uh, like, I've had, like, I you have a couple friends and, like, their, their family are, like, Republican. And they're not. And they're like, I don't know how. And they're like, I, I don't know what to do. It, it, like, it makes me unhappy that my family supports this, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, but everything that's happening is a benefit to your family. Like, they have a business. They do what, you know, like, they, why would they want to pay more money? Yes. It, it, I get it. I'm not saying it's right. Yeah. But, but, like, you aren't going to convince. Like, <laughs> yeah, it'd be like, you're basically, all they care about is their money. So if you're trying to say tell someone who's rich <laughs> hey, that doesn't make, care you're gonna make less this year. Right. Hey, help everyone just make less money. And they're like, no. And they're like, but but all of XYZ they're like, no. no. I work hard for the money I make. I want to keep as much of it as possible, yeah. just like you. Like if you told me to make less money, I'd be like, No. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> right. Are you crazy? It's like it's like I don't blame it, and that's why the system's kinda broken, dude. It's cause that's uh. <laughs> So it's just yeah. so. Are you saying that really the only difference in a lot of this is just allocation of funds, or where the funds should be allocated, or where they should be pushed to? Because that's what it seems like to me. It's like some are saying, "Hey, push the money into these hands so that it can go down to this little folk when they give these people jobs." And some people are like, "No, give it directly to the people." Who are who need the jobs so that they can have more money to bring right. things into some sort of balance? Yeah, I mean it's just. I, I mean I kind of get both sides. Yeah, I dude, I get it. I mean I it's do. just it doesn't make it. It doesn't make. I mean I guess it, it's it, and that, I mean we've talked about this before. It's like the fundamental difference between like Republican and Democrat. It's like they both essentially want the same thing. They both want. A good economy. Successful America. Yeah, well, they both want the economy to be good and people to be taken care of. But one puts the economy ahead of people. The other one puts the people ahead of the economy. And it's just the way you look at it. And then it makes it makes one party look like they don't give an F about the people because they're, they're concerned about the economy. But if we have but a trash really, economy, the people aren't happy. The yeah. people can't do anything. So Dude, one, one is fruits and one is vegetables. That's exactly. really what it comes You need down. both. It's like it's all about yeah. it's all about like rationing it out equally. One is, yeah, it doesn't taste as good, but it's really better for you. Right. And it's, one is... It's good for you, but it tastes a little better. Right. It's and it's like one side's like, all you have to eat is broccoli. And the other one's like, you got to eat apples or you're going to die. And you're like, dude, I, I like really, apples and broccoli. I, I don't like, well. You know, but whatever. It's like, I would take broccoli over apples. Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't care for apples. But, you know, that. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Like, you can't get any nutrients you need from apples. You have to eat more broccoli. And you're like, no, dude, you really can. You can eat some apples. and it's No, you can't. More broccoli. <laughs> you're just like, dude, you're, you're literally just fighting over. Yeah, can we just get apples and broccoli? <laughs> right, dude. Can, can I just have apples and broccoli, please? No! Can they I both yell at you at the same time. Can I have brap, brappoli? <laughs> Brapplies? <laughs> Brapplies. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want a brappoli. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll have to see who wins the showdown, Jonas. <laughs> we know until December, anyway. The real big game, Jonas. That's a hot take. We'll, we'll go back and listen to this one. I, don't, I think it'll be closer to December. Then election day, when we finally know who won. Really? Because what? November third's election day. So what? So that, that leaves us twenty-seven days. So I think we won't know who wins till after the seventeenth of November, sixteenth or seventeenth. Wow. November. I wonder what the longest four-year term has ever been in history. Uh, because from what you just said, four years. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean because of the fact that it's going to – I mean just because the election's going on doesn't mean like it isn't going to need to be done. So, Well, yeah, but, but Trump stays president until the end of the year regardless. He, do, he doesn't take office until January 21st. All right, well, clearly I don't know how the electoral college works. <laughs> yeah, he, he gets voted out, then That's he doesn't fine. officially leave office until January. So as long as it doesn't take it into January to get decided, then then we'll be all right. Yeah, well, I know words in Latin, so there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, but I honestly, it's 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 shaping up to be a sh- mm. shish show because there's like they're talking about how like all of a sudden they just recently said that like 
Um, Mail-in votes from some states can't be counted after election day. Other states are like, yeah, you have three days after the after the election for them to still count. Some it's like it's like every area has a different rule. It's like mm. we we are fifty United States, yet every like in Texas you couldn't mail-in vote unless you had certain circumstances. But then other states you could just literally just say I want to mail my vote in and they would let you. So it's like why is why are we doing things 50 different ways? It's, it's very strange. You know, it, it is very strange to me because it's like then you could be like, all right, well, then the federal government could mandate a bunch of rules and impose them on all of these states. But we're built on a system where the states are supposed to make up their own rules. And that's why you end up with so many different things. And, and I agree with that. I mean, same thing with the COVID response. Every state's been different. <clears throat> yeah, okay. But I feel yeah. like certain situations call for unity. Voting. <laughs> pandemic. Whoa, Jonas. <laughs> those sort of things. Like, hey, wh- I think I don't think anyone in the world would be like, hey, the government says voting has to be done this way uniformly across the entire country because you're everyone is affecting the same result. Exactly. You know, hey, there's a pandemic. Every state should do the exact same thing. So we're all on the same page. <laughs> like things like that. But and eh, dude, who am I? I'm just a guy who lives in Texas. <laughs> you know? Call me crazy, dude. I'm just. Why don't you, uh, why don't you run for Congress, dude? I'll, I'll run you for Austin the, City Council, and then I'll move count, all the way up, dude. And then by the time, the council got, needs people. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting into local government, and then going to state government, and then going to the Senate. I'll be a senator, dude. Ugh, that sounds like so much work. You make a lot of money and don't have to do a lot. It sounds like a lot. You look of work. out for your own interests, and like you get to know about like when the stock market's going to crash and sell your stocks early, but no one like doesn't. But you don't get like in trouble for that when everyone else does. Well, well, well. Yeah, you, know, you get a lot of perks, dude. You get to vote on your own salary. You get to like work like one week a month and take the rest off. You, get, I mean, you get a lot of cool stuff, dude, for being a. Why don't you? Uh, yeah, why don't you get into that, dude? Oh, uh, because I don't want to. What are you talking about? It sounds pa- like a cushy gig. I don't get passionate about, about enough about stuff. No. Look, this guy, the guy was literally flying. <laughs> he was flapping his arms. That was a long end scene there to that play. Yeah, dude. He was like, Ca-ca. um, dude, I just don't care about stuff. I do. You but, like, do seem like the type of guy that could just get snarky on the phone. With who? I don't know. With anybody that it takes. I assume that they do a lot of talking on the phone. I um I'm really good at getting stuff accomplished over the phone. Fair. Like I would I definitely can like make make stuff happen. There you like, go. But here's the thing, dude. It's like I like to I like to fight my battles because I want to fight them. Oh, so you not because I'm required to. So you don't care about your community. Uh, it depends what the issue is. There's really no reason that you shouldn't run for for a city council. It would fulfill so many of your needs. Really? Yeah. What needs are those? Your needs. Just curious <laughs> about my needs. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about my needs real fast? <laughs> it would fulfill your 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 altruism uh, craving. Okay. Which you know you got an alt. Do, do you not have an altruistic craving? No less than any other man, I guess. Okay, thank you. So, like I said, we all have an altruistic craving. Okay. Uh, your human interaction. Are you going to tell me that humans don't have a need for human interaction? No, they do. You're right. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, so right. you know, wow, you know me pretty well. <laughs> yeah, okay. You've known me a long time, so I figured that's um, right. There is also your need to relieve tension through berating other human beings. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need that. What am I berating someone in Congress about, though? I don't know, dude. You get to yell. Okay. You get to yell and argue. And, yeah. And I need to pay my rent, and they give me money. I was going to go to the, that was That was number That was number four. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely number I, I, four. Now you're helping me see the forest through the trees. Oh, wow. It's fourth quarter, and... Uh, we don't have any timeouts, and we're about to lose our first game. No, Houston's. No, we're I didn't win. realize that it was the end of the game because we were talking about such. Damn it! That was, <laughs> I was learning about oh, my needs, oh, and I didn't pay attention to what leave, was happening. Leave him a mean comment in the comments. F and A, dude. I just leave screwed. Him a mean we were undefeated comment. until there too. Like that was oh, our first Oh, Jonas, the tirade of mean comments. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. I so. want them.
Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> uh, election day special at the Crazy <laughs> Town. <laughs> Vote Jonas 2020. Yeah, dude. Uh, thank you all so much for, uh, I, I, what was I going to say? <laughs> that know. is all the time we have for Ooh, this episode. two ladders. Double ladder, dude. Double ladder. We added an extra ladder. Um, <laughs> please make sure to like and subscribe. You've done that. He does Twitch sometimes. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. Heck yeah, for Jonas. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh, I can't believe I didn't realize that it was.